Rhapsody Ablaze. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord Most High. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a day to be alive. What a time to be alive. Welcome back to our online Rhapsody reading platform, Ablaze with the Word. And my name is Sister Heather, and I'm here with the lovely, highly prolific Brother Mbongeni. Welcome, Brother Mbongeni. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for having me. You know, it's always a pleasure to be home. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm home here. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. I love Brother Mbongeni, by the way. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. And today we're reading our Rhapsody, and our man of God, the most prolific author, uh, our man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyaklome, DSC, DSC, DD, says, cut them off. Cut them off. Hallelujah. And our opening scripture is Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 and it's in the NLT. And it reads, Get out of here, Satan. Jesus told him, For the scriptures say, You must worship the Lord your God. Serve only him. Hallelujah. We have only one God. When the Lord Jesus ministered to different people in the Bible days, he cast out a lot of demons, showing us that demons are responsible for most of the afflictions that people suffer with. And in Mark 16, 17, he listed several signs to identify those who build those who believe and the very first sign is that they will cast out demons but during his 40 days in the wilderness he gave us an insight to how to deal with satan and his demons and this is our month of insight Amen. so as you meditate on this scripture and you notice the valid points you are moved you are improved so he pastor say satan had come to tempt him and the first temptation was for Jesus to command stones to be made bread. In response, Jesus, quoting from the book of Deuteronomy, said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. For the second time, the Bible says, Then the devil taketh up into the holy city. I'll take that again. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. Matthew 4, verse 5 to 6. Again, Jesus responded, It is written, The word of God is our defense. The word of God is our life. The word of God is who we are. We speak it and we are it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because from his words we were formed. Amen. Praise God. And he says, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 7. Brother Mbongeni, what a time to be alive. Hallelujah. What in, a time to be instructed. In him we live. In him we move. Oh, in him we have our Amen. being. Praise God. Hallelujah. Like you were saying, I just like what you say, that the word of God is our everything. Amen. We stand on the word of God. Amen. Jesus said, Amen. That he has the word and does it. He's like a man who builds his house on a rock. Amen. Our houses are built on the rock. Because Amen. we read the rhapsody the and we do the rhapsody, Praise our God. lives will not be over. We cut off the devil Amen. as pastor teaches us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor goes on to say, it's a high mountain. The, okay, I'll take it again. Mm-hmm. Then came the last temptation. It's a high mountain. Satan sh- showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment, offering them to Jesus if you would bow down and worship him. Jesus said, get out of here, Satan. Praise God. Because you have to be violent. It, demons, they are like dogs. If you say, get out of here, they will not understand. You have to say, get out of here. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, get out of here, Satan. The original word in Hebrew for get out of here signifies sink out or disappear. Hallelujah. That's casting out the devil. Amen. In those three temptations, Jesus was consistent in emphasizing to Satan, it is written. Mm. And after establishing that clearly, he said, get, get out, out of, of here. here. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's how to deal with Satan. You cast him out or cut him off from your home, your body, 
your city and nation. Hallelujah. The Bible says resist the devil and you will flee from Praise you. So God. pastor is teaching us, is showing us how to resist the devil. Mm -hmm. Jesus said it is written. Mm -hmm. It is written. When he established it clear, he said get out of here. There's Praise no, God. Hallelujah. There's Hallelujah. no humility. There's no gentleness when it comes to the enemy because he is evil personified. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's no negotiation. No negotiation. Praise God. Pastor says if it's your child and he or she is within the age where you are still in control of what they do, you say, devil, this is my child. You, you say it with authority. No, you are not apologetic about it. You say, devil, this is my child. Take your hands off my child. Get out of here. He's got to obey because you are exercising your authority in Christ. You have the legal right the power of attorney to use the name of Jesus and subdue Satan and his demons. Cut them off. Praise Hallelujah. God. The instruction is clear from our, our theme. It says, cut them off. Amen. We Send don't negotiate. Off. Amen. Praise Send God. them off to nothingness, to Hallelujah. what they are. Bring their works to naught. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I will take the further study. Mm. Then you can um, continue, Brother Magini. Amen. I'm taking the further study from Matthew chapter 10, verse 7 to 8. And I'm reading from the NKJV version. And as you go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons, Freely you have received, freely give. This is an instruction. This is how we live. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Let's kindly take the prayer together. Praise God. No, Hallelujah. cut off the devil in your home, Amen. in your body, Amen. in your city. Amen. All the sicknesses, they are caused by demons. We have seen pastor cutting off devils in healing streams. Uh -huh. Do that in your life, in your family, even in your nation. Praise Amen. God. Praise Let's God. take the prayer together. Satan has no right. Satan has no right to run things in my life. To run things in my life. In my home. In my home. Or the lives of my loved ones. Or the lives of my loved ones. By my authority in Christ. By my authority in Christ. I exercise dominion. I exercise dominion. Over him and his demons. Over him and his demons. I walk in power. I walk in power. And in glory. And in glory. Of the Father. Of the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Christ. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Wow. God. You know, we are, so, we are so fortunate to have our man of God. He has been the one giving us instructions for the journey. And indeed, we have been given, given a prophet for our times. Praise God. Hallelujah. And even as you are listening, maybe you don't know how you can live this life. Maybe you don't know how you can have this authority because he says that he has given us authority over all the power of the enemy. How do you get that authority over all the power of the enemy? You give your life to Christ. If you have not been born again and you've not given your life to Christ, we are giving you the opportunity, the opportunity to start afresh. It's never too late to start afresh. It's a new beginning for you now. Our man of God is going to take you through the prayer of salvation. Say it and mean it with all your heart. And at the end of it, there's going to be a special gift for you. Let's join our man of God and follow everything and say it all with you, all your heart and all your mind. Praise God. If you've not been born again, if you haven't received this priceless salvation, if you've not been living for the Lord, this is your opportunity. To get to know him. I want to lead you into salvation. The Bible way. Right now. Say these words after me. Mean them from the bottom of your heart. And God will hear you. Say. Oh Lord God. I believe in Jesus Christ. The son of God. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth 
Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. From this day. And by my faith in his name, I receive eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I am born again. I'm a child of God from this day. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I want you to know that according to the Bible, salvation is yours now. You belong in God's kingdom now. You're saved. Congratulations. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone who pray that prayer. At the name of the Lord Jesus be named upon them. From this hour, Satan has no claims over them anymore. They belong to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I bless them with your word. I bless them with your love, with your grace. I bless them with the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Oh, glory, 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 to, glory God. to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise and the Lord. Happy birthday. Because as you said this, this is the new beginning. This is the new birth for you. Amen. This is the first day of living the best life, the higher life. And at the bottom of the screen, there's a link. Click on the link. There's a book. Now that you're born again, it will lead you on the journey. It will give you food for the journey. And then you can also go ahead and also read your Bible and pray that the Holy Spirit explains to you. Thank you so much for taking this special step and you will never regret it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Praise, Praise God. The Lord. So for those that are born again, we're going to pray together. We're going to pray together that indeed your zeal has been renewed. Indeed Amen. that you are re rising from one level of glory to the other and affirming that you are going into new levels every day. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to pray and bless our day today with you. Praise God. And then as we do that, we'll close. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. We declare that peace be still. We declare that there is righteousness in your street, in your nation, in your home. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, yes, receive joy and speak a full of glory by the power of the Holy Spirit. We cut off all the activities of the enemy. We cut off all the influence of the enemy. We bring them to naught and we say you are blessed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I always Hallelujah. say that when you are in the presence of the Word of God, you always want to say, yes. Let's dwell here. You want to stay. Let's be built a tent Hallelujah. for the Lord Jesus, for ourselves. And we stay, Just here. To stay here. Praise God. Praise God. But we need to let you go so that you can meditate on the Word, so that you can action the Word. So the, act the Word is in actioning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And until next time, it's Stay, stay Ablaze. ablaze. In, in the, the word. word. Bye. Hallelujah.